Well, I guess it's time to leave. Oh boy. Alright. Here we go. Leaving time. We're ready. What's our approach? Bait the dredge into attacking and wear them down. Break through the front lines and don't stop. Send the shield bangs forward and fight defensively. Go all out, strike hard and drive them off. Send a diversion to draw their attention and escape. Pretty sure this is why I would never um, live as a uh, military tactician in any kind of olden days. Uh, man, these choices for this game are incredibly hard. Uh, send the shield bangers forward and fight defensively? No. Break through the front lines. I think that's the one I want to do. Could work, says Mulger. As long as everyone sticks to the plan and there aren't any more dredge than we expect, we'll make a big show of force. If we split into, into groups um, and meet up again at Shalid, we're less, li we're, we're less likely to be surrounded. Let's go. You draw your weapon in advance. At the command, the warriors batch into the first line of dredge, who seem surprised by your quick assault. But then things start to go wrong. There are too many dredge and you can't make a hole. Confusion sweeps over the warriors and they act haphazardly. As you bark orders, dredge have already pushed through. They attack. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> I don't think in any way was I going to be getting out of this one alive, really. Well, not, I shouldn't say alive, but I don't think I was getting out of this one without some kind of casualties. Uh, we do have these... I'll be Varl. Uh, I already know what I'm going to do with this. That's Griff. So you can go over here. Uh, Shieldbanger can go over here. You can go here. You can go here. That way I can just walk right up and bash this guy in the skull. Um, he has 20 freaking strength. I already hit him hard. He is already going to do Wiggly Sword Attack. Oh boy. Wiggly Sword Attack is happening right now. Um, I do not think it can be stopped. What's this button do? Let's do. Oh, it's just the menu. Okay. Um, kill this dude real quick. Get him out of the way. Um, this guy's going to start spinning up. Hit Eric. No big deal. Not that worried. Attack. Wait, why can't I do any uh, willpower things? Okay, well, I guess I can't do a willpower attack. That guy totally just got to move again. What's happening here? Oh man, I think Wiggly Sword Attack guy is totally going to get it off. I think he's actually going to accomplish Wiggly Sword Attack. Oh no, I'm quite worried on what this is going to bring. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Three, four. So that guy is no more worry. Oh god, here it comes. Here it comes. He stopped. What happened? Wait, did he just bring another guy over here? Oh my god, that's annoying. Alright, so these guys need to be eliminated as fast as possible. Otherwise, Eric is going to find himself in a world of hurt. Let's get you, get you out of the way. You are gonna attack Eric again. I can send you over here. You're gonna, you're gonna do a wiggly sword attack, aren't you? Freaking wiggly sword! I don't even understand how this works. Something you might need to explain to me in the future video game. All right, there goes their archer. I can finish off this guy before he gets the wiggly sword. Alright, this fight's turning out not to be as bad as I thought it was going to be. This guy kind of just walked right up to me, expecting to start a fight, and now he's probably going to regret that. What is this? What is this? Stop it! What is it? Okay. I don't know what that was. I don't know what he just threw down. But, um, looks like it's not doing anything. I feel like it might be a trap. Oh, he sent one over here, too. I'll get everyone away from those. I feel like they're about to just, like, explode. Still wish I kind of had Rook right now. I think you'd all remember who Rook is, the man from the uh, other party. 
uh, his story I'm not gonna lie I'm slightly more interested in uh, just because I like Rook I like Odalief uh, she was very pretty um, and I more or less probably do plan to hook Rook and Odalief together up if given the chance don't judge me that's how I roll let's go like this I guess I can give you the kill and blow You've done your fair share of work, Eric. Oh, but this is going to end up bad. Oh, boy. With the first wave of dread out of the picture, you stop and take stock of the battlefield. The warriors are doing as well as you could hope. Fortunately, there were enough to, of them to pull it off. The dreads are furious, but falling quickly. Um, you think you could safely outdistance them at this point. Um, you're almost free of this nightmare. What do you do? Just get out of here. At this point, you take stock of the survivors. It hurts to think of how many of you lost to get this far, but nothing but an unconscious mender to show for it. You hope it was worth it. Ooh, all right, we ended up getting out of there alive. Um, it doesn't really tell me how many Varl I had left or anything, unfortunately. I feel like something bad is also going to happen. It also looks like the, uh, the snowfall is getting more thick. And we are going to be going up a mountain. Okay. Also looks like we will be changing parties now. Or maybe this is just gonna... Quick cut scene to gruff him. I'll take that. I'll take it. I'll take something like that. Okay. Okay. Thankfully they didn't make us travel all that way. Any kind of chatting? Any... I guess not. Hawken, join me a moment. There's something I thought you'd want to see. It is a welcoming party from Grofham, bearing mead. That's about the only thing I want to see. No such luck. The mender from Ridgehorn woke up. He says his name is, uh, Evend. Sounds like a mender name. How is he? Not well. Where are we? A day or two from Grofham. We found you at the Tower of Ridgehorn. What were you doing there? Grofham. No, no, no. That's the wrong way. Juno, where is she? Where's the woman who was with me? She didn't make it, my friend. We only brought the living with us. No, we have to go back. I don't think so. We barely made it out two weeks ago. Do you th do you know why the dredge were crawling all over Ridgehorn? Dredge, we have to go back. It's a damned graveyard, boy. I'm sorry, Evelind. The girl was dead when we got there. What we have to do is tell jo uh, Jorinder what's happening and prepare for a bloody war. So if you... She is dead. I couldn't save her. I couldn't save her. Ivan suddenly looks spent. His, he slips to the ground, and you motion, motion for some varl to help him in, onto the cart. Not what I had hoped to hear. Not sure what I was hoping. Come on, Ubin. Uh, Ubin. Sooner we get to Grofham, the better. Oh boy, so now we have a useless mender um, who is upset about the fact that his girlfriend. Grips me as we approach Grofheim. None of us expected to see a city. Unscathed. No. But what we find steals no. the very breath from my lungs. What in the name of God happened to the Varl capital? Are those all dredge? Don't tell me all these black things are dredge. That's pretty terrifying. At least they not come home. What the hell? What am I supposed to do? Now I'm pretty sure I'm switching characters again, but I'm still very, 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 very torn about who I want to play, because as much as I love playing Rook... Oh, I'm playing someone new, aren't I? Oh, I am certainly going to be playing somebody new. No, no, I'm going back to Rook, because there's... Yeah, there's Frostfeller. Never mind. Well, we're going to make our way to Grofham, and then it's going to be all like, you know, congratulations, Grofham's dead. There you go. <sighs> what did I tell you, Rook? The man has a crazed look about him. He stands, axe pointed in your direction, on the other side of a dozen men. Ekiel, you son of a bitch. Remember what I said. Think carefully about what you want. This is what you get. Ekiel walks away, leaving you to deal with his thugs. Oh, okay. Well, fine, I guess. Jerks. Uh, archers in the back. Archers in the back. Uh, Ivor, Rook, Ekiel, Mugen... Mogan, Hogan, Jogan, Logan. All right, let's just get this fight out of the way. If y'all remember, y'all, there I go saying y'all again. Um, 
Do you remember what happened the last time we had gone to Frostville to find out that the town was like, oh, I don't know, taken over by like these people uh, who were under the Jarl or the leader of the village at the time and uh, who had died, uh, supposedly. I don't know if that's completely true or not. Archer over here. Archer over there. Ivor, go behind us. Yeah, oh, okay, I, I like this setup much more. Except, you know, Ivor's not going to be able to deal that much damage. Oh god, our willpower is terrible. They have so many archers. Oh, leave my lady alone. No, attack. Wait, hang on a second, wait, hang on a second. Mark prey. No, I don't want to do that. There you go. There you go, lady. That's kind of what you get. No, wrong thing again. Attack six. I'm, I'm hoping Ivor will be able to stand up to these guys by himself. Otherwise, this is all for naught. Bloody flail. That's an interesting attack. Leave my freaking archer alone, I swear to god. I swear to god. I swear to god. I swear to god. You didn't even get her, give her a chance to fight back. Already. This game is slowly getting harder and harder. I don't... This is, like, the biggest bullshit attack I have seen yet. Like, oh my gosh, that deals so much damage to both armor and normal. Was this guy just gonna run up and do it too? Let's do it. Oh, you didn't. Thank God. But now this guy's gonna die. Got a promotion. You're probably gonna attack her. Yes, you are. Getting real sick of your stuff. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, crap. I almost forgot about that. I forgot that Rook also has a bow, so he can... He can also do range. You are going to attack her, aren't you? I really freaking hate you people. I really freaking hate you people. There's a certain level that I can hate people, and you are very high on the list. Hopefully I can maybe do enough damage so he won't be able to deal a killing blow of any sorts. Okay. Alright. It's turning out not terrible. Yeah. Let's see if you like it. Let's see if you like it. Yeah, you like it? I didn't even do nearly as much damage as you guys did to my thing. Let's go back a little bit. Oh, crap. Oh, please hit. Please. Thank you. Now it has less of a chance to... Oh, you fucking bitch. I don't even understand how that one makes sense. Let's hit you pretty hard. Pretty good chunk. I didn't want to do this. Well, it kind of has to be done, lady. I don't... Deflected. Here, you like arrows? You like arrows? There you go. Have an arrow. I was getting very sick of you people very quickly. Alright, there we go. Thrasher. I like Thrashers so far. They apparently are incredibly overpowered. Hate to, ad uh, hate to admit it, Rook, but you're right. We can't stay here. If we're not murdered in our sleep, it's only a matter of time before the dredge find their way in. There's nobody defending these walls. You spot Aletta looking at one of the thugs. She cocks her head to the side. Uh, Dad, I think he's still alive. Ivor lifts him to his feet by his tunic. He groans from the pain. This guy again... Why did Echol try to kill us? He's a damned lunatic. Figure that yet? Why would Frostville's chieftain put a madman in charge of his guards? Uh, that what he told you? He never put Echol in charge. Soon as those gates were shut, Echol walked into the Great Hall and uh, sliced open the chieftain like a narwhal. Saw it myself. Echol wasn't a captain. Look at him. Um, 